Hello everybody, this is JD again, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this piece of paper here. See if you can read it. It's from the Heritage Foundation, and it says, The Constitution of the United States. Okay? Why do I am holding this? Because so a couple weeks ago I mentioned something to the people who I said had cat guns running around in the woods playing soldier. I said, remember Waco. April 19th. Over 20, approximately 25 children died and approximately total of 100 people in a little 50 acres Waco Divinity Church. And I told you that we are given a tool, this tool, to protect ourselves. But before I go any further, let me read you a few things that these people at Waco were denied. Congress shall make no laws respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise. They are full. Four, abridge the freedom of speech, the right of the people to peaceably to assemble. They were denied that. They were going in there because they claimed that the people in Waco were taking semi-automatic weapons and making automatic weapons. But yet our Congress doesn't say anything about automatic or semi. It does say the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now I understand the law says you can't have automatic weapons and if they were doing that the action that the federal government did. Okay let's talk about the next amendment. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in the house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war. They just totally invaded the whole place, didn't they? That's the third amendment. Fourth amendment. The right of the people to be secured in their personal houses. Hmm, well, that definitely was not defended there. How about the fifth amendment? No person shall be held to answer for a capital or other infamous crime unless on a presentment of indictment of a grand jury. How about this one, the Sixth Amendment? In a criminal prosecution, the accused shall enjoy the right of a speedy and public trial. The first six amendments in the Constitution were denied over a hundred people, a hundred American citizens in Waco. Now let's go a little bit more current in times. I believe that we are providing a no flyover zone in Libya so that the federal government of Libya cannot use its tanks against its citizens to mass kill them. Did any of you ever watch the Waco? All these tanks that came in all had American flags. And there was a fly zone. Well, wait a minute. They weren't there to protect the people. They were there to allow the tanks to roll in and kill the people. Now, is this to get you all to uprise? No. This is to get you to see what our government is becoming. You people who say we don't need a third party, you are so wrong. You people who are afraid to stand up and say, no, we do not accept this any longer. The Constitution says you can't do these things and you will not. Our government has gotten to the point where it just totally, really, I want you to think about that. I want you to understand. I want you to know what we, the American people and the Constitutionalists, is about. Is it that we are there at Libya to defend the innocent, but here in the United States, the innocent don't matter? Over 20 children died there. The crime they had was to be with their parents. And over 100 other people, because four agents who tried to invade private property There was no trial, there was nothing. They didn't serve any warrants. When you serve a warrant, you knock on the door and you hand it. You don't drive in with a tank, with it dangling, 
from the front of it. People, I'm trying to save our nation. I'm not a politician. I'm not going to be politically correct. I'm not going to favor this stuff that the government is doing over the people. Our Constitution has meaning. Our Constitution is important. But it's only going to work if you are willing to stand up for it. What they did in Waco, for example, I believe that was in 89, April 19th, it was in the late 80s, is no different than what Gaddafi is doing in Libya right now. Just at a grander scale. One, remember what I said about people, how a war, everybody loses? Everybody loses when one soldier on both sides die. We had a hundred people of which maybe two or three maybe have been guilty, die in this country trying to practice freedom of religion, trying to be secure in their home, trying to say we are Americans and we have these rights. And the federal government said, heck no, you don't have any of those rights because we are the government. This is what we're going to do. We have decided you are breaking the law, so that's it. We don't care. We don't care that you're a religious organization. We don't care that you're private citizens. We do not care of any of those things. It almost brought me to tears thinking. You know what I thought watching it? Part of the Constitution died if we let this go and continue. We have to say no. The first ten amendments are the ten commandments of our Constitution. And they cannot be altered in any way, shape, or form. Or otherwise, the rest of the Constitution has no meaning. They were put there to ensure that the people controlled the government not the government controlled the people. Each and every one of you have to believe you have to get involved, deeply involved with our government. And then the government cannot be involved in your life. It is there to assist you in a harmonious society to promote the economy and the well-being of the nation. Not to criminalize every single citizen. Not to destroy the first ten amendments. Not to abridge those first ten amendments whatsoever. They cannot and should never be overlooked or forgotten. I mean... If you really look at the first amend ten amendments, they are called the Bill of Rights. They are the Ten Commandments of our Constitution. They are what this nation is based upon. And if they can be ignored at any time <clears throat> by the government. They no longer have meaning. David Koresh and his followers, what did they do wrong? They expected to be safe and secure in their home. They expected to practice their religious beliefs as they felt it should be. They expected due process 
by the law? These are the things they expected. And what did they get? A tank driving through the front door. <laughs> now, I'm not saying how the fires got started. It looks very much like they started the fires to dissipate the gas. And the fires got out of control. But they should never have had to do that. They should never have to have been locked up for the oh, excess of 90 days inside this country, inside their home, protecting their religious beliefs. The government's only excuse was, well, they were taking semi-automatic weapons and making automatic weapons out of them. So... So really so why until they tried to sell them it really don't matter a person could make a stockpile of a million automatic weapons until he tries to move them anywhere it's nothing but a pile of wood and metal that's all it is and once they leave the property to try to sell them then they're breaking the law and they could be arrested very easily but no the federal government decided to attack and kill its people with no mercy because it is the law. Like Gaddafi says, the Green Book says, like Janet Reno said, the federal law is. But our Constitution says, no, that's not the way it is. People, we're not going to stop the New World Order by being afraid. I have a formula. It's called NWO minus W equals no. NWO is New World Order minus we the people of the United States equal no way in this country. And believe me, the Constitutionalist Party truly, to the core, believes in our Constitution. It is the greatest tool we have. It's designed for us to control this federal government. We have turned a blind eye too long. Please do not take Waco as a to arms, but take it to to vote. Let your voice be heard. Start going out, spreading the word. The Constitution is the supreme law of our land above everything else. And the Bill of Rights is the Ten Commandments of our Constitution. And they shall remain unabridged and enforced as such. Or, turn your head, look the other way, and say, I don't vote. Or, I'm a political party person. I can't afford to do this. The choice is yours. We can make a difference. The Constitution guarantees that us, that for us. It can be done. I kind of felt very sad in my heart when I saw Waco. I had not realized when I first saw it, when it first happened, what really was at stake there. Tonight, I realized our Constitution bled dearly that day. This is J.D.